Good morning, Kate here with Quick Quotes. Today I am going to be sharing with you how I made this fun little bow on a package I wrapped with some Quick Quotes Pattern Perfect back to school papers. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but it's back to school time here in Maine. Lily goes in a couple of weeks and I bought her um, a cute bracelet for her first day of freshman year. And I thought this Pattern Perfect back to school paper was the perfect thing to decorate this box. Um, I love using pattern scrapbook paper to decorate boxes and gift bags and make bows and all of that stuff. And I thought, what a great thing for a back to school gift. You could also use it for teacher's gifts, you know, Christmas time, end of school, teacher appreciation week. You could wrap a box, you could make a bag, anything with these great heavy duty papers by Quick Quotes. So this is the box that I wrapped and you can see I used no tape. I used some scrapbook adhesive runner and it look at how nice and smooth that looks. And then I made this cute simple bow and I'm going to show you how to do this and you can make them big or small and as I go along I will give you hints on how to make them bigger than what I am making this one. So what are we? I am using today is I'm, I cut up, I wrapped my box with this piece of the Pattern Perfect paper. I love this one. There's also a teal version of it. And I made the bow out of this piece of Pattern Perfect paper. And that's the back side of it so let's see how cool that is too so I also am going to be using a little bit of the powder puff chalking ink in maraschino cherry and that was just to give the bow a little bit of a pop on the top you can kind of see where I used it along the edges there so simple 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 I cut out lots of strips but what I wound up doing with the small bow is four strips of the paper um, three quarters of an inch wide by six inches long. And this is to make a small bow. If you want to make a bigger bow, you can make it eight to 12 inches long. You would need more strips of your paper to make that bow look fuller. So I'm showing you how I make this small one. So nice and easy on that three quarters of an inch by six inch strip of paper. I'm just taking my powder puff chalking ink and swiping it along to add that little bit of red. Now, if you noticed, that red matches the red and the other piece of paper that I used to decorate is perfect match. So for all four strips, you're going to do that. And actually I'm going to do it on the other side because I wanted more of the yellow background than I wanted the white background and that's, but see how they're complementary, and that's why I chose that one. So it wouldn't stand out so much on the inside of the bow. So again, I'm just swiping the inside. It's great if you can keep your hands clean of the um, ink so you're not smearing it anywhere. So simple to do this. Starting with the first piece, on the back side of this, I'm just taking a little bit of my tape runner and putting it on the bottom. And I'm curling this in a circle. So I have my base. That's the first one. And then I am taking my next one and I am putting a little bit of adhesive runner on the back side and the front side. So when I stick it in here, it just goes like that. And now I'm doing it halfway. So now I've made two circles halfway in, almost look like chain, chain, oops, sorry, chain links. Now I'm doing the same thing with the next two, top and bottom for the adhesive. Now I'm going to go corner to corner on this one and just filling in the empty spots. And if you're doing a bigger one, you'll be putting more of these on here. An eight inch one will probably take five to six of these. A 12 inch ones, maybe seven or eight. And you'll just want to fill them in. See how that's filling in that empty space right there? It's starting to look like a ball. Front and back again. You could alternate the front patterns and the back patterns. That would give you a cute bow. And then just tucking that back in here. Oh, I don't know why I keep lifting that up on you. And you want to put your fingers in there to make sure that's sticking and where you want it. There we go. So it's going to be pretty full here. Now we're going to squish this down in the middle, right there. Make the bow, and I'm taking my crocodile, and I'm just squeezing this right in there, and we want 
a hole in the center. So you're just taking your crop by, probably could do this with a smaller crop dial, so you can see here, there we go. Just making a hole in the middle for the brad. And it will line all up nicely, so you have the hold in order to put the brad. This is so super easy. I have two really big brads. They're really old. I'm not sure where they're from, but the teal one with the polka dots matches the perfect pattern paper. And then you're just putting that in the middle and opening up your brad. This will keep it still um, from coming apart. Now, you just want to fluff these a little bit, fluff them a little bit, give them a little bit of shape. When I'm placing these on a box, I do add two foam dots on the back to give it layers. So if you look here, it's not flat against the paper. I've added two foam dots. So I would take two, I have zap dots right here, but you could use any dots. Flip it over, put one, peel the paper back, and then you put two. And then you peel the paper back when you want to put it on your package. So I could put two bows here if I wanted. See how super easy that is? Great way to use this back to school paper. Um, you could also decorate your boxes with the um, chipboard die cuts that match this paper line. Great idea, easy, um, lots of ideas with the pattern, perfect back to school papers. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see some of your projects wrapped up with some quick quotes paper.